Okay, so let's get started with another life in the UK test. As ever, you have 24 multiple choice questions, of which you must get at least 18 correct in order to be able to pass the test. Everything we cover in this video is also in the Life in the UK test handbook, which is available on Amazon. The link is in the description. Question one. What do Sir William Golding, Seamus Heaney and Harold Pinter have in common? A. They were all famous British athletes. B. They, were, they have all been Prime Minister. C. They were part of the first British expedition to the North Pole. Or D. They have all been awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. And the answer is D. They've all been awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. Question 2. Who elects police and crime commissioners, PCCs? Is it the police, the Home Office, the public or members of parliament? And the answer is the public, yes. Elections are held for police and crime, and crime commissioners generally at the same time as a local election and police and crime commissioners are responsible for overseeing um, police forces. So for each police force you have a police and crime commissioner. Question three, which of the following statements is correct? The Reform Act of 1832 increased the number of electors or B, the Reform Act of 1832 increased the power of the House of Lords. And the answer is A, the Reform Act of 1832 increased the number of electors. Question 4. What celebration takes place each year on the 14th of February? And unsurprisingly, I'm sure you've got this one right, it is Valentine's Day. Question 5. Which two of the following issues can the Northern Ireland Assembly make decisions on? Defence, agriculture, foreign affairs and social services. And the answer is B and D, so agriculture and social services. Um, the devolved governments, so the governments in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, are able to make uh, laws on domestic issues within those countries. So they can make um, individual laws on agriculture within their own country as well as social services. But anything that affects the UK as a whole or is a national defence or a national security issue um, is it, dealt with by the UK Parliament and the devolved governments are not allowed to pass laws on those topics. Question six. Is the statement below true or false? In 1588, the English fleet defeated a large French fleet of ships that intended to land an army in England. And the answer to this is false. Uh, this question is actually referring to the Spanish Armada, uh, which happened in 1588 uh, under Queen Elizabeth I. Um, so it wasn't a French fleet of ships, it was actually a Spanish fleet of ships that intended to land an army in England in 1588. Question 7. Who was given the title of Lord Protector in the 17th century? Was it King Charles II, Samuel Pepys, Oliver Cromwell or Isaac Newton? And the answer to this one is C, Oliver Cromwell. Yes, Oliver Cromwell, um, during the time that Britain was a republic, was named Lord Protector of the United Kingdom and was essentially the most powerful man in Question 8. Is the statement below true or false? We shall fight them on the beaches is a famous quote from a speech by Queen Elizabeth about the Spanish Armada. And the answer to this one is false. It's actually a famous quote by Winston Churchill that he gave in the House of Commons. Um, so not Elizabeth I and it wasn't about the Spanish Armada. Question 9. What is the system? Sorry, what system of government does the UK have? Is it a communist government, a dictatorship, a parliamentary democracy, or a federal government? And the answer is C, it's a parliamentary democracy. Question 10, which of the following statements is correct? In 1776, some American colonies declared their independence from Britain, or B, 
American col colonists <laughs> were eventually defeated by Britain? And the answer is A. In 1776, American colonies declared their independence from Britain. Question 11. When a member of parliament dies or resigns, what is the election call that is held to replace them? Is it reselection, selection, hustings, or by election? And the answer is D, by election. Question 12. Which two of the following were British inventions? Television, the jet engine, the personal computer, or the diesel engine? So you need two there. And the answers are A and B. So it's the television and the jet engine are both British inventions. Question 13. Which of the following UK landmarks is in Northern Ireland? Big Ben, Snowdonia, the Giant's Causeway, the Eden Project. And the answer is C, the Giant's Causeway. It's a natural phenomenon that causes rocks to have a hexet hexagonal uh, shape to them. Uh, it's also a national park and you can visit that in Northern Ireland. Question 14. Who has to pay national insurance contributions? Is it everybody in the UK who is in paid work? People who work full time? All those aged 50 and below? Or single people with no dependents? And the answer is A, everybody in the UK who is in paid work does have to make national insurance contributions. It's usually taken directly from their pay packet if they are a paid employee. If you're self-employed, then you pay these yourself. Question 15. Which of the following statements is correct? A, civil servants are politically neutral. Or B, civil servants have to be politically aligned to the elected government. And the answer is A, civil servants are politically neutral. Um, they are required by law to be uh, politically neutral and they must do whatever the government of the day tells them to do. Um, however, unlike other countries, civil servants don't change when a new government comes in. They simply just have to abide by whatever the new government is saying. Question 16. Is the statement below true or false? Mo Farah and Jessica Ennis are well-known athletes who won gold medals at the 2012 London Olympics. And the answer is true. They did indeed win gold medals at the 2012 London Olympics. Question 17. How old must you be to ride a moped in the UK? A. 18. B. 25. C 16 or D 21? And the answer is C 16. Uh, yes, so usually uh, to drive a car you would need to be 17. However, there is an exception for mopeds or um, uh, mo motorbikes with small engines, in which case you can drive those at 16. Question 18 Is the statement below true or false? Getting to know your neighbours can help you become part of the community. And unsurprisingly, the answer to that one is true. Question 19. Which of the following statements is correct? A. Uh, Sir Steve Redgrave is a famous rower who won gold medals in five consecutive Olympic Games. Or B. Sir Steve Redgrave is a famous film actor who has won several BAFTAs. And the answer is A. He is a famous rower who did indeed win uh, gold medals in five consecutive Olympic Games. Question 20. When was the last successful invasion of England? Was it in 1066? 1415? 1642? Or 1940? And the answer is 1066. Yes, so the, the Norman invasion uh, in, all the way back in 1066 was actually the last successful invasion um, of England. Arguably, um, during the Second World War, um, the Nazis did invade some of the Crown Dependencies of the UK. However, this question only uh, relates to England. So the last successful invasion of England was in 1066.
Which two patron saints' days occur in March? St David's Day, St Patrick's Day, St George's Day and St Andrew's Day. And the answer is A and B. So St David's Day, which is the patron saint of Wales, and St Patrick's Day, which is the patron saint of Ireland, Northern Ireland, um, they both occur in March. Question 22. Is the statement below true or false? John Constable, who lived between 1776 and 1837, founded the modern police force in England. And the answer to this one is actually false. The um, police force in, in England was founded by Sir Robert Peel. Um, John Constable is a famous artist and painter. Um, so the answer is false to that one. Question 23. Which two are 20th century British discoveries or inventions? Is it A, hovercraft, B, radium, C, penicillin, or D, the printing press? Being two options there, and the answers are A and C. So the hovercraft and penicillin are both British discoveries um, or inventions. The uh, penicillin was, of course, discovered by Sir Alexander. Question 24. Which of the following statements is correct? A. The UK offers its citizens and permanent residents freedom of speech. Or B. The UK does not allow citizens or permanent residents to voice opinions publicly. And unsurprisingly, being a democracy, uh, the answer is A. Now, don't worry if you found any of those questions confusing. The Life in the UK test can be quite difficult to pass, um, especially the first time around if you're just starting to take these practice tests. But do carry on with it and you'll be able to pick up the content. And within no time, you'll be applying for your brand new shiny blue British passport. <laughs> um, and do please check us out on our website, which is liveintheuk.co.uk. And if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe and ring the bell um, and you'll get notified whenever we have a new video. Thanks again.